On Friday last week, the Supreme Court ruled that the delegates conference at which Jimmy Akena was elected president of the Uganda People's Congress Party in 2015 was illegal and therefore the election result could not stand. Jimmy Akena, while addressing the media at UPC headquarters, has said the Friday 13th ruling came at a time when all the issues that were in contention had been overtaken by events. And that those circumstances no longer obtain as UPC was able to participate in the 2021 general elections. I am therefore calling upon all UPC members to continue with the mobilization and for the upcoming election and also to heighten our preparations and mobilization for the 2026 general election. Akena says he will not step aside. So you want me to vacate for what? Where? How? <laughs> and for whom? <laughs> for those who have never been elected? He has scoffed at people challenging his leadership as those that have not contributed to the financing of the party and who also don't have support in the party. This is my first term as a member of parliament carrying the party flag. In all these terms I have been contributing to the UPC party. I will challenge any of these people to show their contribution. Financially, let them show how much they contributed to this party. Many of the people who are talking in UPC, I can tell you honestly, they can be ignored and it will have no effect on the ground. The leader East MP says he will do everything possible within his powers to protect UPC from self-seekers. What would you do for your child? You have one child. Somebody wants to destroy that child, I will do everything in my power to protect that child. And that child exists because we have done so. His comments come at a time when Joseph Ocheno, one of those who oppose Akena's presidency, says the Supreme Court ruling will make it easy for him to be uprooted from the helm of the party. Jumakiria, NTV.